products and so on, providing a broader range of products with a higher value, value add, higher margins to their customers. Japanese companies have, are, are 15 years, 20 years behind in this. Uh, Yamaichi's more than 85% of its revenues were from commissions. And that has made it very vulnerable to the ups and downs of, of their sales. And uh, the last few months have seen those sales dropping sharply because of scandals, because the government is no longer trading with them. Private customers have moved away. So as their sales have gone down, their commissions have gone down, their profits have gone down, which is one of the things that's put them at risk in the last, uh, last week. Uh, so if government wants to do it, you're going to have to do it yourself, and government has not wanted to do it. It's kind of been inappropriate for them. They don't have the capital either. So we're seeing now not only a shift in policy, but simply a shift in the ability of government to do things the old way. So this, this is really a, a, a new world we're embarking on. So there are a handful of three or four more companies uh, just looking at the top 15, looking at their, their assets, their liabilities, what's happened to employment, who look like uh, they're on the verge of collapse as well. Uh, the next few weeks should uh, reveal some of those. Can you give their names? Well, one has been Cosmo Securities, whose uh, employment was down by 50%. Can, can I ask you to 